Now time to complete the chain parser method. We have to validate the request. So how can we do that? Let's copy the same like this one. Strength and these are we will need here. So the email we don't need. Uh, verification code we don't need. So the new password he will enter. We have to uh, validate. And here one more thing you have to add here like uh, the max because uh, we don't want to enter maximum value like uh, by default Laravel allowed a 191 character for a string so let's uh, give it something like 150 not greater than this okay and the same where we are doing it uh, almost for every uh, field you have to do this okay so here reset password and whenever we are inserting uh, a value inside the database then we have to validate has uh, its uh, its length okay the email this is just for the login not inserting in here register so here we have to do this one also so now uh, we also have, have to uh, validate the current password because the user will send the current password and it should be required and further we can use uh, other validation rules like uh, string and whatever you want here okay but for now these are uh, important that it should be required so when the user send a current password he will also send uh, a new password and that, that password must be confirmed so the, this uh, validation is completed next we have to move first of all we have to check okay so uh, we have to check like if not hash check hash check uh, you know like it uh, uh, this will check the uh, encrypted value okay like we normally encrypt our password before we store in the database so we have to match this that's why we need hash here so here we have to uh, get the request request of password uh, current password this one and check with the uh, request of user let's first take the user here like user of user equal to dollar request of user because we have a token and as I said a logged in user will access this so we have a user inside a request okay so here user password we have to compare So it's mean that if the current password and the new password, uh, the current uh, password not matches the database password, it's mean that this is uh, we have to uh, response back with a message, which can be message current password is wrong, something like this. Okay. So let's say we can redirect with 401 and yep so the next thing here if not if the password matches then we have to process so in that case we have to update the user or uh, in some short way let's say dollar user of password equal to bcrypt uh, dollar request of new password and then if dollar user of save response back with a message and password changed password changed 
successfully okay with 200 and yep if not then we have some error response back with the error message some error occurred please try again with 500 status code and yeah this is done okay so now let's test this here we have to uh, inside headers we need uh, we have already accept here but we need authorization and it's really will be the same like this so let's copy and paste it here now let's uh, okay inside body we need to send uh, the new, uh, current password which can be any like uh, the password during login we used but we will make it wrong let's say adding something like a here so the current password is wrong just to take check our validation okay uh, and the new password we can send something Mike at the rate Mm, capital M and one and new password confirmation uh, it will be also something like Mike I direct this and to test our uh, validation we will also make it wrong let's now send this the given data was invalid the new password confirmation does not match okay so let's make this now the new password must be at least eight characters okay let's add these are four five six seven so let's add one more which can be small m here and small m here okay so we have to include uh, hash library okay for that we have to uh, here we have to use the hash so let's see and set laravel we can find okay so this is we need to copy and paste it here and now let's test again so current password is wrong because we have a here so let's remove this now password change successfully now if we log in with the old password it's giving us this okay because invalid username or password because this password is now changed so if we use our new password which is this one okay now test yep we got the user so we are logged in and now we have this new uh, barrier token so we have to use this everywhere because we are deleting the old uh, old token whenever we are trying to log in if we see here so that's why we have to use now and the same we will do in logout okay but uh, as we deleting the old token to not fill up the uh, the hash table okay personal access tokens and this okay so all, it will not contain all the tokens in case uh, if user is we are testing or something so it will always contain one token related to a user that's why we are deleting the old and now we got the user with a new password and the change password is completed so let's save this save this and also the login next we have to work on uh, update profile 
So let's do this in the next tutorial.